I'm Josh Carter here. Welcome back to this week's YouTube video. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about the top five top most items that you need to avoid when dropshipping on eBay in 2022. Now, we're going to do things a little bit differently today. So today, we're going to be playing a bit of a game and we're going to have five different items on the screen and each product, you know, has a different number of points. And, you know, you're going to, your job is to figure out why you shouldn't list this product on eBay. Now, if you guess this right, you get, you know, as many points as you, you know, as I say, for that product. And at the end, I want you to comment, you know, how much points you got total. And yeah, we'll see who gets the most points, see who knows the knowledge. And I want genuine people in the comments. I want people lying so they got 100% right, because I guarantee you, not everyone's going to get 100%. But anyways, drop below how many points you get. And let's go into this next, into this product. So this product is going to be 15 points. Now, I'm going to give you five seconds to give a reason why, give a few reasons why that this product is a terrible product to list on eBay. So I'm going to give you five seconds, four, three, two, and one. So if you said that this product is a liquid, you know, that it can break easy, you know, causes a lot of mess, this is a terrible product. You know, this is going to give you very bad customer service and there's no way for the customer to actually return the item you know if you, this is getting shipped to the house spills everywhere breaks liquid goes everywhere how are they going to return this to you avoid liquids at all times this is such a bad product to list anything to do with liquids never list them on ebay because you know you're going to have to ship out another product to them because they actually can't even because in order to complete a return policy they're going to have to try return the product to you so you can inspect it but they can't actually even do that so you're gonna have to send them a whole new product and be out of pocket even more so that's 15 points for that product if you got it right. If not, continue on. So now let's go on to product two, and this is for eight points. So I'm going to give you five seconds to think why that this is a bad product to list on eBay. And yeah, give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now, this is a bad product because it's a Vero product. Now, as you can see, Vero is basically the verified rights owner program. And basically... Brands don't want you to list these type of products on eBay. The reasoning for this is because it is copyrighted. So they have stock images and descriptions. So when you list your products, you want to make sure that you don't have any, you know, brand name or anything like that inside of your listing, whether that's on the title or the descriptions, because this is copyrighted. You know, if you're going to take the risk and list these products, you're most likely going to get banned on eBay and we don't want that to happen for yourself. So focus on, you know, listing unbranded products and not Vero items. So yeah, if you got that one right, I know it was a tough one that, but yeah, eight points if you got that right. Now moving on to the third product. Now this is for 10 points. So I'm going to give you five seconds to see why these pins aren't a good product to list. Good for three two and one so i know that i didn't put actually the price of the product on the screen it actually is um is two dollars for these products so i'm gonna give you five more seconds to why you think that these products at two dollars are bad four three two and one so if these are priced at two dollars you're not going to make profit so if you said that either you're not going to make profit off these items you are absolutely correct you're smack on the money and you know we're going to make you know into take into consideration that there's fees on ebay there's insertion fees there's listing fees and there's final cut fees that ebay takes so this product's way too cheap there's not enough room for profit but if you are a new seller and you're trying to get you know your um selling history up and reviews then this is a perfect product but like i said if you if you want a happy losing money then you can go ahead and list that product so if you guess that one right you are doing very well now we're going to move on to our other product and that is a drone. So I'm going to give you five seconds to see, you know, pay attention to everything on this image. And um, we're going to be talking about why this is a bad product. So I'm going to go five, four, three, two, and one. So the reason why this is a bad product is simply because of the handling time. Look, <laughs> May 31, that's like a month away. Very long shipping. You know, customers get very mad. And you might wonder yourself, how am I going to make it fast? You know, and everything like that. Ask others selling the product. Use whole, use retailers such as Amazon, you know, Walmart, Home Depot, Target, Big W, all places like that always have fast shipping. Whereas if you're using a wholesale supplier, they are so long, unless you use a USA supplier on AliExpress, but everything like that. Um, what you could do as well for this product is buy it for yourself and see, you know, how fast, it, how long it really takes to get to your house. That's how you're going to know if this product is going to be worth it or not, because on eBay, for the handling time and everything like that, 
there's not going to be 30 day 30 day shipping times so you're going to make sure you have to list the right product so if you got that one right i'm going to award you 12 points so that is a big that could be a game changer let me know in the comments so far what you're at and uh, let's go on to the final product and the final product we have is this steel frame folding table now i'm going to give you five more seconds for reasons why you think that this product is not a good product to list on ebay so i'm gonna go five four three two and one so the reason why this is such a bad product is because there's no reviews anywhere there's no reviews anywhere to be seen you know this product is probably you know if there's no reviews there's either a quality issue you know the items breaking it's not working well and with this you know you're going to get an increasing number of returns increasing number of bad customers increasing number of bad reviews and just overall it's just going to hurt your ebay account potentially get it limited then potentially get it banned so if it's three stars or less definitely want to avoid so like i said for that one i'm going to be awarding 10 points so for all five of those products comment down below how many you know points you got i really hope this video gave you a bit of insight of what products not to list so if you want guys want me to recap i can just right now so like i said avoid liquids avoid vero products you know avoid products that have no profit avoid long shipping times also for this one branding avoid branded products and avoid you know items that are unreliable some that with no reviews and everything like that so yeah comment below your points subscribe to the channel i really hope this week's video helped you out just so you know what to list on ebay and everything like that joshua carter signing out i'll see you guys in next week's video peace